found it so humbling to be asked to be honored at the YIPC dinner. Uh, we feel so a part of this shul. It's uh, so a part of our lives. It really has been. We've raised our kids here. Yeah. I have my bat mitzvah here, and, uh, and well, when, actually, I'm assuming I had my baby naming here. I'd have to ask my parents. I could give them a call. <laughs> and uh, when I became a chassan, when we became Arab engaged Shabbos. Arab, Shabbos, Arab uh, Shabbos, we came to shul, and immediately I walked in the door, and somehow everybody knew what was going on. And there were no cell phones back then. No. Shalom to all of you, young Israel. I have only one thought on my mind. What more nachas does a parent want when he has a child or children following in the same steps of legacy that he spent almost 40 years of his life? It is the greatest bit of nachas. Wait, do I have anything in my teeth now? No? Okay, fine. I look okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, good. Good. Okay, you're good. I think that our parents have been involved in the show in a lot of different ways, kind of behind the scenes. And, and also their whole lives. And their whole lives, that's true. <laughs> um, like my mother when she does the music, and my father when he does the seating. Um, or when we're just throwing parties at our house. Thank God we've toned it down in the last one is here now. They always uh, emphasize on going above beyond and beyond the call of duty and uh, it's something that they've uh, instilled it up in us just as much. Our family enjoys a very special relationship with the Mermelsteins. It obviously originates in the fact that I've had the great privilege of assuming the leadership of the young Israel of Paseya Clifton, subsequent to Adina's esteemed father, Rabbi Chaim Wasserman. And our relationship has really grown on so many levels. On a personal level, our families are extremely close. On a shul and communal level, we've had the opportunity to work together on so many different projects and experiences for our shul that have been uplifting, inspiring, impactful, and meaningful. As you all know, uh, Dina and Shlemy are a powerhouse of a couple. There's nothing that they wouldn't do for their family, their friends, and their community. But we wanted to share with you a few things that make them really special and unique that you might not know about. So we'll start with Adina. Adina is the best person to go on vacation with. Why, you might ask? Because even if, God forbid, you got stuck on a desert island, you wouldn't starve. What's in the bag? A Vitamix. Potatoes. Cans of any kind of vegetable you might ever want to have. Don't forget the creamer. What's unique about the Mermelsteins is they are all in to everything that they do. They themselves, Schleimi and Adina, devote every ounce of their energy, of their focus, to anything they contribute towards the community, and their whole family becomes involved. Walking into the Mermelstein home for either a Shabbat Zohar Oneg or a Yom Ma'ud celebration, you don't just encounter hosts. You encounter people that open their home, open their lives, and open their family to our shul and to our community. Uh, another reason why we love the shul is because of what it's become now and uh, what it means to our children, our family. And our friends that we've really made, really good, good, close friends. That's something that's very special, very special. Now it's our turn, and we're gonna tell you a little bit about Shlomi. Hey Morty, how, did, how should we start this? It's water, this is a dry shul, what are you thinking? Wait. In 11th grade, a number of girls were invited to go on a mission to Russia, and I really wanted to go. I was invited to go, and it was the members of this shul, of the YIPC, that put money towards that mission. They made it possible for me to be on that plane to Russia. It was really a very special experience. It was just incredible. You remember they, you brought your keyboard nah, with you. The, the Mora Dina keyboard <laughs> came with me to Russia. We were hoping to get together for Kumsitzes, and we come into the airport. Officers look at the keyboard and they figured I was bringing it in to sell on the black market and uh, they 
said, you must to play. I said, you bet I'm going to play. And in front of my friends, I played Am Yisrael Chai.